tubing, and your actor's neck. Using a blow dryer to dry the liquid latex and making sure you're not going to burn your actor, you dry that liquid latex. The heat shrink tubing will stick to your actor's neck. Then you want to stipple around the edges of that heat shrink tubing with more liquid latex, waiting for it to dry. Once it is dry, you want to add liquid latex to the top and bottom of the middle of the skin appliance. That should stick to the liquid latex you have there already. Then you want to slowly add more liquid latex from the inside out of the appliance. Once you have the appliance secured, you want to stipple on more liquid latex around the edges. Now, you want to do about three layers of liquid latex stippling far away from the appliance, blending it in to the actor's skin using a torn edge of a sponge. Then you add the makeup to blend the entire appliance into the actor's skin. Make sure to add some reds and pinks to it so it looks more like flesh tone and matches your actor perfectly. The last step is you want to powder on as much powder on top of it so the makeup stays where it is. Now the last thing you'll do is add the fake blood to your garden sprayer, hook up the appliance and make sure the blood is right to the edge of the appliance ready to go and then you have some fun. It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> You're still hey, it's leaving. Going.